Ah, okay. So, um, I will be, the, we may be the youngest kanang principal sponsors, no? So, may I beg the indulgence of the other principal sponsors? When I requested my support call na mag-speak down po for there. Um, in behalf of the female sponsors, so in behalf of the female sponsors, AM and Oliver, congratulations. Uh, happy ka ayo ni Tamang Office, ayo si Sir ka. Just, ikaw na bahala sa message kay nakaulong sa'yo si Sir kay Fiesta Pugaw sa Iraha and din na siya yung mga visitors. Oh, okay. So, in behalf of the female sponsors, AM and um, Oliver, in order to have in sila, I don't know if the other female and male principal sponsors would agree with me in sila to have a happy married life now is to have a happy wife so malipayon daw ang kami nyo o pag malipayon daw ang asawa o yun pa ang mga asawa kubot ang pamuyo pag ang asawa daw na binasama ang pisina pag magreklamo na kanyang asawa gubot din kayo ang pamuyo so nga daw, duha ka rules to have a happy marriage rule number one so, husband okay ingon sila, always listen to your wife ako, tumuyo ng mga bayani nagili mo yan si Sir Davidia sa ako and Second rule daw, second rule, to have a happy marriage. Rule number one, listen to your wife. Second rule is, in every conflict, listen and go back to rule number one. Ah, so, wala kayo yung conflict, sir. Di ba? Yun lang ang mabuti sa asawa kayo. Listen kayo ng trahon daw ang asawa. But kidding aside, okay? So, mga ako yung message para sa inyo ka, couple, is to go back to three seats. In order to have a happy marriage, dapat na daw tayo three C. First C is dapat daw Christ-centered ang atong relationship. So kung kung naapirmi ang gino sa pamuyo ninyo na magtiayon, you can never go wrong. Kung na for every conflict, go back sa sa gino, go back kung ano mo karon. You started your relationship. You started your marriage, you opted na i-bless ang inyong marriage sa pinaagi sa wedding na church wedding, right? You could have opted other other weddings or other solemnization or other ceremonies but you opted for this despite sa pandemic, di ba? Bawal gani supposedly ang mga gatherings during this time but then again you opted to do that because you wanted first and foremost for your relationship to be blessed by our God. And that is very uh, that is very um, true and uh, very commendable for us in a couple for um, blessing your marriage with the blessings of Christ. So second C though is a communication. For every marriage not to prosper to succeed, there should be always an open communication. So, tanan, wala, um, marriage is not a um, bed of roses. Dili daw siya, pero may malipayon. Nagyong times na na conflict ang magtiayon. Magan again, tanan, dili magkasinabutan, or tanan conflict can be resolved with an open communication. Inyong suryahan, permanente, matulpa sa akong dinikanan, dili daw katulban ang inyong ha conflict. Dili daw, ayaw daw magkatulog, hangtod, dili niyo ma-resolve ang inyong conflict. So, kung na may away, istorya ka lang yun. Tala, ang labi na, mag-storya ka ng mayo na ang inyong kabubuton, dili na init ang inyong ulo, kayo sahay, pag init na itong ulo, uh, dapat tagma-storya o dapat tagma-buhat na liter on ato mag-regret na liter on. Okay? So, always bear in mind na pag nagali mo'y conflict, dapat mag-storya din mo magtiayon. Dagma pa maagi ang pag-storya. Nine communication na dilig ka na mo dilig verbal communication. Pwede non-verbal na communication. So, ang ang ako lang po ang pasapot is inyo mapadayan sa usap-usa ang unsay ibati sa usap-usa para ma-feel po sa PICAS party unsay yan gusto'y pasapot. 
And the third should be, there should be, a third na C is commitment and compassion. Because in marriage, ang love na to sa usap do sa may waiver. Kami tawag lang sa ako, sa family court, nagyong kayong file na mga nality of marriage, kayo nagsalipan sa love. Ang love na to, uh, as time goes by, pwede mag-waiver, pwede mong gamay, pwede mong taas, ina na. But then again, if you commit yourself to love one another, just like sa inyong vow, ito sa church, so hindi na ikita siya mawala. So kada ba, pag na may conflict, ba na po, uy, hey, ikumit na lang pang AM. Kung ang pang AM na po for the rest of my life, the same way with AM, ang Oliver na po with the rest of my life. So always remember, in your marriage, dapat Christ-centered. In every conflict, there should be communication. And always remember your commitment and compassion to love one another. And last message na po para sa wife po din, para kang AM. Ganina ka, para kang Oliver. Ganin para kang AM. Ingat sila, in order for, it, is, it always takes a strong woman, okay, to live a life and to take a step backward in order for this man to lead. So in, in the marriage, ang leader din na to, in our married life, ang leader din na to is ang atong husband. So, meaning to say, let Oliver lead the family and Oliver always listen to come AM. So, in every decision, dapat decision in yung duha at the ayam. So, once again, on behalf of the uh, female na mga principal sponsors, uh, congratulations to both of you. Best wishes and we pray children that have bata in the near future. Thank you all for doing this. is that the wife or no should submit to the husband. Pero in reality, it is the husband who submits to the wife. You know, there are not. Sa ulang ito sa pata-pata pa ko, musika lang ako mata, kukurong na ako asawa. Pero, kung musika yung mata, ako na yung kukurong. So, uh, it's more of after the understanding to ano kinahalang mo tayo sa buong mo sa buong to buy peace. Kaya nga ano, kung dito mo sa buong sa itong asawa ang buong buong kaya ito tapoy. So, muna na akong advice. Submit to your wife. Maybe submit to your husband and understand your limitations. Thank you.